Ed Midland, Texas. It's uh, March 29, 2017. I'm going to do a short video today, and I want to talk about the uh, the stealing aspect or the, the thieving aspect of these criminals that break in my house, uh, separate than the murder attempt and, and all the other crimes. Um, I first moved here in 2008. The previous homeowner just died. Uh, totally died in this house. Um, let's see. One day I was going to work, and, and this was before I realized or figured out anybody was breaking in this home or was in this home. It's because I lived here two years before I even figured that out for my first call to police. And I was coming out of my bedroom door here, and, and it just caught out of the corner of my eye. I see a light flash. And, and here's the HVAC filter goes up into the attic. I see a light flash up there, and and, and it caught me off guard. And I, and I was like, no, and then I just kind of blew it off. I thought, no, that, that can't be possible. There, there ain't no way, you know, that the light come on or come off. Well, now I'm sure of it, you know. And, and that was probably a year, year and a half, two years before I'd even made my first call to the police, and then another year before I shot. And so that was the first indication somebody's here. Now, if you think about that, who paid for that light? I did, okay? And, and, and you know, and that's where uh, what I've, I say, uh, theft to services, they're still in services for me, utilities. And, and, and I, I remember a conversation I had with my dad one time that I really believe that, that he knew what was going on. He never admitted that, but he made certain statements that made me believe that. And one of those was, well, they're not taking anything, are they? Well... You know, they're not taking TVs, okay? They're not stealing uh, voice recorders like the secret police. They're not thieves like the secret police are. They're not taking things and possessions of mine that I bought, but they're taking services. And, and so, uh, as such as electricity and the heating and cooling. Very odd uh, for somebody to get up in the attic. And, and, but you, here in the desert, you couldn't stay up there if you didn't have some kind of heating or cooling, you know? And, 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 uh, it just gets too hot up there. It gets so cold in the winter time, and and so what they've done is broke apart my uh, my HVAC, my central heating and air conditioning system. Broke apart the pipes, and and it pumps uh, uh, hot air, cold air up there where they're at, and 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 I'm, I pay for it, and and it just runs continuously. I mean, and so I've got some stories, and I I have a video on that. I'm gonna show you. All right, this is one video that I have. It's a short one, only about a minute on my YouTube channel, which is under Buddy Webb, uh, one word, and, and this one's called Theft to Services. You can look it up, Google it, go to my YouTube. I'm just gonna play it real quick. In my room here, it is 88 degrees. Of course, it's 30 degrees outside. It's 1021 in the morning. I've been sleeping because I don't feel good, okay? 88 degrees in my room. Now let's go over here behind the locked door I have to lock the door because I have people breaking my house, death threats, and somebody tried to murder me in my house. Step into the hallway and burr, it's cold. And you can feel the cold air coming down from here, okay? Here's the thermostat over here. And you're going to go, wow, look, let's turn the temperature. I can't read it. Okay, I'm trying to read it here. 66 degrees. Running and running and running. Now remember, it's 80 in my room. It's 66 in the hallway and cold. Okay, and and what's happening here is the tube right here. Remember, that's where the leg. Okay, and and what I'm gonna do here, I, I'll just pause that because you can go look that up. But basically, they're they're manipulating my HVAC system, and and they're allowing cold air into the hallway where the thermostat is, and th and that keeps the the heater running continuously. And it costs me a small fortune; it literally does. And then they break apart pipes up in the attic, and that way the heater's running. It pumps that hot air up in into the attic, and and so. Uh, that's happened over and over and over again. And, and my frustration, I probably wouldn't even get so frustrated about it if it wouldn't get so hot in my room because I've seen it get up to over 95 degrees in my bedroom. And I'm sweating and it's 30 degrees outside. And, uh, and as you've seen, you go out there in the hallway five foot away and it's in the 60s, you know. And, and, and then I've seen the same thing in the summertime. I remember uh, a Vivint tech, I have a Vivint alarm system I had because I have people breaking in the attic. 
and the vivid tech comes over it's 106 degrees outside in the summer we get up here and he goes it ain't bad up here and i'm going yeah i bet it ain't bad up here because i'm paying for it anyways uh I, i'm gonna i'm gonna climb up into the danger zone in the attic and and i'm gonna sh and we're gonna look at the hvac system and the ductwork and the pipes and i'm gonna show you where i have repaired it being broken apart and then and then i'll tape it back together re-insulate it gets broken apart again and that's that over and over and i you know i finally give up because what can i do and, until we can get police to do something here because it, once again they're armed and dangerous and i'm crippled and defenseless and i don't want to end up like the last homeowner dead in two towns with my back door kicked in you know and uh and my death certificate somewhere else while a neighbor's going, he died in that house, you know. And and so uh, it's extremely dangerous until we get the secret police that are involved in in uh, these murders or murder attempts identified, arrested, stopped, and get these crimes stopped and who's breaking this house. Uh, the entrance into this house could be found in a day, but we need to have legitimate police to do that and not not the secret police, but the real police. Anyway, I'm going to go up there and I'm going uh, to show you them pops. All right, this buddy, I'm up here in the danger zone. Uh, uh, I'm actually sitting on the uh, HVAC unit, which is the air heating, venting, air conditioning unit, HVAC. And, um, and, and so the primary reason to come up here is to show you this duck word or the pipes and show you where, I've, uh, where it's been broken apart and where I've repaired it. So anywhere you see duct tape on it is where I fixed it myself. And then, it, and, and then many times it got broken apart again and, and I'm sure there's still places right now that, that uh, uh, hot air or cold air comes out of, depending on what's running. And, um, and, and I, I've got so many stories up here, it, it's amazing. But uh, let, let me flip this camera around. I can't really see the way it is, but uh, okay. Right there, that that's one going into the bedroom there. Another drop right here goes into the... Uh, to the west guest be bedroom that's the that's the east uh, bedroom in there and you get into here you can see where I fix that and uh, and and here all this where it's been broken apart fix that and and I believe air still comes out over here I'm gonna turn it around here and we're gonna look at the rest of the pipe in here you can see where it's broke there it looks like it's still broke there and then I'm gonna show over there it's broke once again over there and, and then even where this big piece goes up to the other side is broke over there and I've fixed it over there on that side too. And so, uh, and then the, the unit itself, and I'll try to get down here, is, is big unit right there. You can kind of see that. And so, um, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I realize that, uh, the, the new duck water popping is is a plastic uh, flexible pipe that that I, I could replace all this old the old style metal pipe that's put together in here um, but but that doesn't stop the crimes it don't stop the people it don't it don't hold anybody accountable for all the crimes that's been going on for all these years and uh, and as we've seen in videos this is ongoing it's still going uh, you probably also notice that there's plenty of room I can stand up here and you know, you know I'm five foot ten and um, you know I can I can stand up pretty easily and so there's a lot of room and if you know if you were homeless then this would beat would beat the crap out of under a mesquite bush in the winter I'm sure you know and so I uh, suspected for a long time that connected to human trafficking I believe originally it was a uh, it was sex trafficking for the trucking lane out back and because uh, trucks would pull up you would hear the somebody moving around up here you have burglar alarms go off over here and then that truck would drive off never unload freight and then all of a sudden you hear somebody back up in here and there's about a million stories like that and um, besides the multiple alarm systems and all that and and the hacking of my of my systems and so they're they're very uh uh, high-tech uh, criminals basically I guess is, is, is how you put it and so I could show you a lot more but uh but that'll show you the you know the thieving part of this and and the 
I tell you what's bigger than the the money side, and and it's cost me over my health, you know, my career, and and destroyed my life minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day. Boat myself in my room, uh, you know, I I can't take my my eyes off my drink inside my own house. I got uh, thirty percent kidney use or left, you know, seventy percent's just mysterious gone. And when you consider I've survived a murder attempt and I live under a death threat, then then you do the math, you know what I mean? They poison me and and you know and and they want me dead and and i know they do and uh and they got to be stopped and held accountable and i believe they murdered the guy before me you know he's 27 years old died in two towns and so anyways this buddy way of midland texas up here in the danger zone uh talk to you later bye